you see me? Hey, 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 it's Ruth Marquise, your favorite realtor. How are you today? Yes. All right, guys. I need you to save this, share this, send it to Messenger. <laughs> Do what you gotta do so you can watch this video when you have some time. It's gonna be a little lengthy. I got 14 points I'm going in today. What people don't talk about when it comes to success. What people don't talk about when it comes to success. Hey, if you're on here, say hi. All right, here we go. Number one. <laughs> All right, so I just got off the phone before I got get into my points. I just got off the phone, I took a meeting and they were trying to convince me to do business with them and all of that and um it happens but it only happens when you're doing something okay it only happens when you get up off your uh you know from crawling to standing to walking to running to moving and then now all of a sudden people want to say on one hand they want you on the other hand they're trying to pick you apart watch out for that right so I just got off the phone with them um, <laughs> trying to make a case and then pretty much people make you think that you can't make it without them like first of all you called me so I think I can make it without you <laughs> so um don't believe the hype y'all so share this video with your friends somebody you know needs to hear this okay number one giving it your all makes you tired Everybody want to be successful, but they ain't tell you that you are going to be exhausted sometimes. <laughs> I had to take my vitamins, my multivitamin, because it will make you exhausted when you really go. I don't know what's going on today. Like, we got all kinds of noise. Okay. okay. Well, I am near airport, but, um, <laughs> so... You will be tired. Yesterday I had the best day ever in business. Like the best. Well, I've been having a, the best week ever. Um, because I've been doing my videos. I've been. Um, um, what, what was I doing? I had to go and do something for my other business. I did that. We had a new offer. It was a bunch of stuff going on. I was like, this is fun. I was like, but I forgot it was more work. <laughs> So usually my clients know that we're gonna be up for a while like we're gonna get this offer in like tonight okay so if you're ready to buy a house don't come if you ain't ready like if you're not ready let's just wait you know but when you're ready to buy a house Ruth will get you that house all right I couldn't hang last night I could not hang they ain't tell you that they didn't say like oh you saw everybody successful what you didn't see is when they had to give up sleep what you didn't see is when they had to tell their kid, I'll be, I'll be right there. Mommy's on the phone, you know, and it takes, it was supposed to be 10 minutes and then we'll turn to 30 minutes. They didn't tell you that part. So yeah, it's gonna make you tired, but it's worth it in the end to have multiple streams of income coming in. So don't back away or shy away. Hey, Sage Marjorie, don't back away um, from success just because you know you get a little tired that's not cool don't do that all right number two what they don't tell you every business have its own price to pay all right every business has its own price to pay so you say you want to start this and you say you want to start that did you know that you gonna have to pay for that autoresponder did you know you had to pay for that website that every single business that you start you're gonna either buy some products you're gonna have to pay some fees some dues it's a lot of stuff that you have to pay for so keep that in mind every time you have an opportunity like what am i going to pay for like sometimes you have to pay staff it's a lot to do and it's not just time i mean it's not just money it can be time you're gonna have to spend some time doing it you can't just be like i own this and then don't work on it like it don't make any sense you know what's the point of doing something that you're not going to be good at What's the point of getting into something that you're not going to do? So nobody tells you that. They just be like, I got this going on. I got that going on. They forgot to tell you that they've been working on this thing for months and years. You know, it's not a fly by night. When it's successful, that's when you hear about it. I was listening to a news report and they were like, well, we have like this thing in America where 
once you see like they don't praise you because you were working out they don't praise you because you are doing what you needed to do like drinking water being healthy eating well they just say oh he lost 100 pounds like you get praised after the result so we tend to, in our microwave society to believe that it's only the results that matter and that's how you mess up because you feel like oh once you started then you're like i'm not getting the same result at this person like wait a minute that's not how it works you know you got to keep doing the disciplines you got to keep doing the habits you got to keep doing the, i can't stop because uh stop doing the video because well you know i didn't get that many likes or i didn't get that many shares today yesterday was a great day today's not a good day i should quit it's over no it's not gonna be it's just not gonna happen like that it happens when you are at work you don't care about it i've done a video called don't look at the scoreboard you know you keep on working at it you keep on doing what you need to do nobody's gonna praise you nobody's gonna say you're great nobody's gonna say that in the beginning it's just everybody's watching on the sideline i think we are sideline society sometimes watching to see what's gonna happen okay keep doing your thing because there's a first quarter a second quarter a third quarter and a fourth quarter but you can't quit in the first quarter like you know what <laughs> we down by 10 points in the first quarter i think i might as well tap out it doesn't work like that y'all you got to keep going that's why a lot of people quit a lot of people fail because they quit period but if you just be like well i'm gonna keep doing this until forever like you eventually gonna stumble on the right answer you're eventually gonna stumble on the right opportunity you're eventually gonna stumble on the right way to do things as long as you're active as long as you keep trying as long as you keep doing your thing you're bound to be successful did you not know that did you not know that if you just keep going that's why people say don't quit don't quit it's a reason why because everybody that quit they quit before their results the results don't come for a while every business has its own price to pay you gotta have like that mindset and you gotta believe that's what it is i am this business like i am if you're a realtor i am a realtor if you are a, a dressmaker i am <laughs> why do i come up with dressmaker guys seriously these examples <laughs> so if you are a shoemaker i am a shoemaker you know so um number three losses happen but you have to take risk losses happen but you have to take risk that's like going to the casino and never expecting to lose like everybody know you're gonna lose sometimes but it's all about the big win and i'm not promoting gambling but it's a great example as to like who would go and say i can't believe i lost so like that's the name of the game like you're gonna lose sometimes you're gonna lose sometimes but if you have enough things going on even in your business, like if you have enough people that you're talking to, if you have enough, that's the reason why it's not working out. If you have enough, let's say you're going for a job, right? If you have enough jobs that you're going after, like if you put out enough applications, hey Chanel, if you put out enough applications, do you not think you're going to get a job? Of course, let the numbers work for you, okay? losses happen though to act like oh my gosh i lost i'm a failure i'm like nobody but if you listen to the the problem is we don't have access to people to be like yo what's your horror stories what's the worst thing that ever happened like i'll share <laughs> i share with my clients like the, some of the crazy stuff that can happen so they can learn from it what's what's your horror stories because then I can learn that it happens to everybody it happens to the best of us if everybody act like everything's so smooth all the time they're lying to you they're lying don't believe it losses happen but number four it says no risk no reward if you don't risk anything you don't get anything that's just plain simple you don't risk anything you don't get anything you're not always going to be the cool, coolest the cutest the, the person that makes the most money in the room you're not always going to be that but you got to risk putting yourself out there you got to risk putting yourself out there because at the end of the day that's what matters is that you put your you put your um your bet out there you put i don't know why I'm, i got the gambling terms today hey mark <laughs> you know number five be willing to look dumb stupid and crazy be willing to look dumb stupid and crazy you know like people some people still say crazy stuff about beyonce oprah um marie forleo like whoever that you think is successful hey lori they saying that 
they're crazy. They're saying like, this doesn't work, this is a scam. They're always gonna say something, something crazy. You gotta be willing to look dumb. And willing to look dumb means you gotta be willing to not know the answer sometimes, to search for them. You gotta be willing to look crazy because you put your stuff out there and you don't know how people are going to react. Okay, you got to be willing to look stupid because you're going to make mistakes. You're human and it's OK to make mistakes. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So I want you to know that it doesn't matter. All that stuff does not matter. Looking dumb, stupid and crazy. Hey, if you want to be successful, that's what you got to do, period. That's what they don't tell you that that will happen. You got to get over it. You got to have tough skin. People are going to say smart stuff to you. People are going to look down on you. People are going to tell you that you're nobody. Who knows you? Who is she? Who is he? We don't know who you are. Yeah, and they don't know who you are either. At least I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you that's the attitude you got to have because eventually everybody starts in the same position at zero. And it it takes work to get to 100. All right. So number 6 you got to give up temporary fun to have a lifetime of fun. You got to give up temporary fun to have a lifetime of fun. Some of us are not successful because we are not willing to give up temporary fun. We are not willing to give up what we love. We are not willing. Like, I was so exhausted. Like, I wanted so bad to finish my offer last night, but I couldn't. <laughs> like, I didn't even want to watch netflix at all and that's like you know she tired you know so you got to be willing to do that like you got to be willing to give it all that you have you got to be willing to give up some fun for a lifetime of fun because when you're free when you're financially free you can do whatever you want to do why would you just like well you know i don't i don't have no money but i'm still gonna make it to that party i'm still gonna make it to that vacation i'm still gonna where's the sacrifice of course you're not gonna have no money because you're not willing to sacrifice anything where's the sacrifice it don't work like that put your seed in the ground it don't work like that to just be like oh well you know i want everything to be perfect and everything to be easy and that's how life's gonna be i'm sorry did you create life i'm sorry did you create this game you're in the game you didn't create it you playing the game i'm telling you the rules of the game you could follow them not follow them unfollow me you could do all of that it's not going to change the fact that you got to make a sacrifice it's not going to change the fact that you got to change your circle if that's not the right circle for you it's not going to change none of that not going to change none of it so if you want to have a lifetime of fun you got to stop playing little kid games i'm sorry sorry is harsh <laughs> i don't apologize but yeah, you got to stop. You got to say, yo, what am I doing right now that I know I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not doing it. So let me get that done. Can I get an amen? Number seven, every dollar you have is a C. Spend it wisely. Every dollar you have is a C. Spend it wisely. You already have the seed of the thing that you are supposed to grow. You already have the seed. You have a job, use that money for your job in order to grow whatever it is that you want to grow. If it's a nonprofit, if it's a business, if it's whatever, it doesn't matter. You have what you need and you may need to use it for school. You have what you need. You have what you need to execute your plan. You think you don't have enough, but you have enough to get started. You have enough. If something crazy happens, you get, you get started and then doors start to open and that's the only way it happens because you put your faith out there. Because you put your faith out there. Me and um, one of my business partners, we went to some class. And I was like, you know what? We was talking about it. Let's just take some action. So it looked like nothing was happening for a long time. Next thing you know, I'm like, child, why do we keep getting things under contract? We just keep getting things under contract. They just coming left and right now. And for a while, it was dry. It was dead. Nothing was happening. We didn't know what to do. And now we see like, wow, this is crazy. It's happening fast. That's how success is. All right, guys. Um, so number eight, doing what you love can be fun, but make sure it's profitable. Okay. Doing what you love can be fun, but make sure it's profitable. Okay. Make sure what you're doing is fun. Make it fun if it ain't fun, but make sure it's profitable. If you're starting a business, make sure it's profitable. If it's not profitable, it's not going to be profitable the very first day, but make sure you're not hanging your ladder on the wrong building. I did all this stuff, opening up daycares, painting daycares, <laughs> I did all this stuff. 
And the second I was like, yo, sis, you gonna have to be here every single day. You can't hire nobody. You gotta be the one. And it's not enough kids for the space. So I, I got the wrong space. I got the wrong space. I was like, yo, I leaned my ladder on the wrong building. <laughs> I needed a bigger building, right? And it was not even the fact, it was not even the fact that it was the wrong, it was the wrong building because it was separated into three different rooms, right? So who gonna pay for two babies to be in one room? That's how small that one room was. So had I had a different space and everybody was in one room, I would have been in a better situation, but I didn't know. So I took the risk, I looked stupid. Hey, I learned and now I know better. But what I'm saying is, I leaned my ladder on the wrong building, but the second... And then she was like, can you call my husband? You know, she had me looking up mansions and all of this stuff. And I'm like, ma'am, I don't usually do this. We got to meet, blah, blah, blah. Turns out she was a stalker, okay? The stalker of the, <laughs> the guy. <laughs> I had some, another person, every time I called her, they was, she was on really high highs. And really low lows. And then she was crying like every time I called her. I was like, yo, you stressing me. I was like, so does that mean we're not going to the home inspection or no? Like, I can't do mental health. Like, I can't fix it. You know? The, when people are like, Jesus fix it? I understand. Because it was crazy. <laughs> and you're going to have to deal with that in business. I mean, this is for a per person that's trying to better themselves. I don't know what else you're going to do to make more money. You're either going to get a bit, open up a business or get a better job. You can't get a better job. You open up a business. So that's for, this video is for those people. Okay. You can't make everybody happy all the time. It's like trying to make, <laughs> trying to make a crazy person happy is the hardest thing in the world. And I almost did it. It was like, I got punished for being so efficient. Okay. Have you ever been punished for being that good? I was like, yo man, I'm making everything work. She ain't wanted to work. Find out a couple couple months later that that lady, oh snap, dogs. Found out that 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 lady, she did the same thing to another realtor. I was like, thank God, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I'm out. I was out. The first sign of trouble, I was like, oh, this ain't gonna work. I can't do it. So you can't make everybody happy all the time. Um, number ten, quick one. It's all about the details. All about the details all about the details you keep saying it doesn't matter there's a shortcut that you want to take but you're skipping the details and it's going to come back to bite you in the butt that's all i'm gonna say about that if you skipping details then people are probably not going to work with you because you just keep on you know i mean i tell people like listen if you're awesome and you're also most of the time, it's okay to make a mistake because your person, like your client will forgive you, but you always missing details all of the time. Nah, it's not gonna work. Number 11, don't listen to people who think they're better than you. Don't listen to people who think they are better than you. I told you about the conversation that I had. What you need me for then? You just trying to take my money. Most of the time people have motive. They have a motive for why they want to work with you. They have a motive of why they can, they're getting stuff from you. They're taking from you. Well, how are you going to take from me? You think you're better than me at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. Do yourself a favor. Stay away from people like that. Do yourself a favor. If you're in a situation, figure out a plan to get yourself out. You don't got time for that. You think you're better than somebody and, that, and then that person could have helped you, you know? So it's, it's just a lot that people don't talk about. I, I'm just grazing the surface. Um, got two more, uh, three more. Um, number 12, who cares how long it takes? As long as it happens, right? Who cares how long success takes as long as it happens? There's people that go to school for 12 years to be a doctor or I don't know how many, how many years, you know, they go for a long time, but they go for the six figures. Who cares? So you telling me you gonna not go be a doctor because you got to do four years of this and four years of that and two years of this and two years of that. But you'd rather go work at the Best Buy. No shame. No, no, no shade to anybody work at Best Buy. But you're trying to tell me that's a better plan. Come on. It's not a better plan. So who cares how long it takes? Who cares how long it takes? As long as it happens, that's all that matters. Okay. Number 13, stop thinking you need people. Stop thinking that you need people because you don't need who you think you need. You don't need that brand name you think you need. 
You don't need that validation you think you need. You don't need it. I'm telling you right now, if you start believing in yourself and start becoming confident, the second I became confident, the game changed. The second I was like, I'm scared. I used to be like, I'm so scared. Oh, y'all thought I was like, oh, I woke up the room. I love videos. Hell no. Mm -mm. I was not like that. I was afraid. I was afraid to talk about real estate. I was afraid to tell people I was a realtor. I was afraid to tell everybody. It's like, Ruth, you got to stop being a secret agent. I was like, well, I don't want people to know my business. <laughs> you know, they might find out. What's it called? It's called like a, not the fraud effect, like the expert something i can't think of it type it in if you know what i'm talking about the um it's like when you don't feel like you're you really don't feel like you're an expert at something you feel like you're a fraud at something I, I, it's, a, it's the buzzword nowadays yeah stop thinking you need people stop thinking you need people stop thinking you need people i'm not saying you can do everything by yourself but I'm saying you don't need what you think you need. You don't need people to clap for you. You don't just get up and do what you're supposed to do. If you've seen this vi video from the end, rewind it to the beginning. When you have time tonight, <laughs> take, take whatever notes you want, okay? The last thing I'm going to say is success is worth it. It is absolutely worth it. It is absolutely worth it for people to not be able to tell you what to do. It's absolutely worth it for you to put a plan in place for even if they tell you what to do in your mind. You know how when you get a second job, you're like, I wish these people would in the first job. You get an, another attitude. You don't jump, skip, and hop every time they talk. Once you have your plan in place and you're working on your plan, you don't care what anybody had to say. You'll make whatever cut you need to make. You'll do whatever you need to do. That's what I'm telling you. You need to know that success is worth it. And if it's worth it, endure what you have to do endure what you have to endure do what you have to do listen to stuff like this this i know you may be at work but there's a time where you clock out there's no excuse to watch this whole video i watch i listen to ipod um ipods <laughs> what are those things called again now podcast there you go i listen to podcasts all day all day so i can get around the right information you can finish a video how you going what you know how many books we have to read well we don't know something and it's nobody like take this step and take that step when you're an entrepreneur it's nobody doing that you got to go find the information yourself you have to be resourceful so what i'm saying is when somebody's giving you some pearls some gems some lessons learned take it run with it grow with it check 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 in your head you know, like, okay, good, I got that. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Do that. Once some, the person is giving it to you, but don't act like, well, you know, I heard that before. I know that already. Put it in practice. That's what I want to see you do. Put it in practice because success is worth it. All right, guys, if you have any tips, what do people not tell you when it comes to success, okay? If you had success in anything, I don't care if it's losing weight. I don't care if it's business. I don't care if it's ministry, if you had success in any area of your life, I want to I wanna see you comment and say, this is what they don't tell you. So I look forward to finishing this conversation in the comment section. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.